Okay, so welcome to the Bricky 200 3D printer uh, XY uh, corners review. What I'm going to do here is a walkthrough of the four uh, idlers and motor holders here to check uh, the uh, structural integrity and strength. These belts are going to be under quite a lot of tension or there's going to there are a lot of them producing a lot of tension um, uh, due to this being a pulley arrangement so it's double stacked belts where on each of the corners you can see there's a pulley which gives a four times multiplier on the force but also the uh, um, uh, uh, speed uh, going round here is uh, round each of the motors and the idlers is uh, four times on here 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 two times uh, speed on on uh, on the on the other on those, is it, sorry two times speed on that one and four times speed on these and then the same on the other side so first thing we need to emphasize this is a five millimeter thick uh, block supported by triangles And uh, it's joined here, so that is not going to move. That's, that side is not going to rotate. However, this is a, a, just, it's just sticking out. There isn't room to put a, but I think I would have to bring it out by another 20 millimeters in order to put a second bolt here. So what I've done in this case is I've put the bolt on the other side. Now what that means is that there's still room for this to twist here. So a um, modification that I'm going to make is to bridge a triangle across the bottom here to here to here. so that this piece can't twist twist out outwards uh, there. I made this quite thick um, but it's still not enough. It could still move upwards like this. The whole, the whole piece could move uh, and rotate pulling against here and if there's a, a, a triangular piece uh, 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 on the bottom there that pulling effect cannot occur. The second thing is that well, I have to make sure it doesn't hit this. Uh, I need to put a circus, another one of these triangles on the other side here, so that this piece cannot rotate. The force is on the on the belt pulls it this way, so it pulls it down. And despite this being five millimeters, it's still going to flex and pull that whole thing, pull this downwards bow it downwards, um, uh, a triangle underneath would transfer any downward, for, uh, pulls there, makes it turn down, that turning down could be stopped by putting a triangle in which will push any downward uh, force against that part with the bolt just as it does with this one. The motor is made of metal stiffening up the whole of this area of this block, this 5mm block. The force on this belt, which was on the red one, although it's lower down there will still be some force, uh, there's a pull that way and a pull that way. Uh, the, the pulling that way I braced here so that it won't pull up. Um, uh, of this, but anyway, it's uh, uh, against the uh, extrusion here. Again, same trick here. That pulling, pulling on that, uh, it's braced underneath, so it would normally it would try and bow it. Mm, let me turn it. Where's the mouse? Pulling this way would normally turn turn this. Uh, tower downwards like this. The fact that it's attached with this triangle here means that that's um, that pull is uh, stopped. I can't 
really put a triangular brace down to here because the red belt is in the way. Pull on here, the bolt and this part stop it from a uh, thing. This is this is a U shape on the uh, inside here. So um, I'm confident the fact that this is only a 14 millimeter tower. I'm confident that that one won't move. The belt goes in. Uh, the, there's a there's a ganache, nasher. We we'll call it ganache with teeth on here, which the screw thread pushes against here and holds that belt. This this that, that bit is too long. Um, I haven't shortened it, but um, you know, think but anyway. The belt goes. That's where it starts inside here, not there. There. Um, I'm confident that that's okay. That piece is okay. Um, uh, that you know it's on the tower. It'll pull. It's fine. That's fine. So. Um, not actually very much in the way of improvements needed for this part, just a, uh, a, a, a triangle piece under here to stop uh, rotation of the, the thing there. Because uh, it's braced on that side, so it's bolted on on that side. And um, a second triangle piece here to stop the flexing of, the, of this tower from bowing down. So that's one motor. This one is not quite a mirror image, uh, but the principles are exactly the same. Uh, the, 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 the tower arrangement is slightly different. Um, because the stacks are uh, in different places, but um, and, the, and, the, and the belts end in different locations. But basically, it's it's the same. So we won't we won't go over that one. Uh, uh, we won't go over this one again. But basically, the, the one of the difficulties is you can't join things to here or here because the um, the um, x and uh, y um, uh, ends uh, uh, they they. They, they come in very very close I apologize this is a quad core i7 system with 16 gigabytes of RAM 3.5 gigahertz processor and it's still this, this is such a complex design it's still <laughs> only doing a frame rate of like Doom, 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 you know, um, uh, one frame every two thirds of a second. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, so uh, this is the one of the idlers. It's complicated. Um, the digital dentist. I um, really like the idea. I'm warming up to the idea of making this a solid block. And then uh, scraping it, scraping it out the parts that are needed, rather than this um, layout type of layout. But you know, I've gone with this so far. So um, let's uh, let's review it. Now, the forces on this part. You have a tower here which is being pulled that way and that way. You've got a tower which is being pulled by this both the top and the bottom belt both that way and that way and you've got uh, on this one we have where's the yeah yeah um, I think this one is has no um, no gnashes it's, it's, it's where the two belts cross over the one in the opposite corner is has um, two ganaches because both belts end on there on there um, so the pull is mo is going is, is in this direction and that direction so we've got bracing here which transfers the pull from here to stop 
thing. Basically, that and that, the screws, basically cause the pull to twist the whole thing down against the frame. So I'm confident with the um, uh, that that's taken care of. Um, from this side. I'm less confident that the, the twist is uh, the twist is this way. This design, basically, what I think I'm, I'm going to do is um, put a, a, um, a, a wall here and a, a base on the bottom as well, and join them up so that it um, basically that this whole piece slots onto the extrusion here and won't um, twist up. Because at the moment, um, what will happen is uh, let me think. Uh, it's there's a screw on the opposite side there, but there's not one here. So what will happen is it will try and twist up. The force will lift it off the thing and twist it at the same time. So putting a, a piece here on on this face here and on the bottom to brace all the way round. So yeah, um, wall here wall here so there's a socket that this this piece will sort of fit in a socket um, that will stop it from thing and I've got as you can see I've got uh, rail runners um, all the way down there but I don't think those are enough so I think I think basically that's that that should be enough of this because the I mean it was hellishly complicated I can't really show you the interior on here but um, uh, clearly um, but man was it um, uh, complicated to, to design um, you can see there's um, all sorts of little wall bracing pieces um, f uh, supporting these uh, the, the, the bolt holders and the idle holders and the, and the things um, there um, so I'm uh, confident that, that, uh, that just, uh, just that small modification uh, here will um, stop it from being twisted as the force pulls it tries to pull it off of the, off of the extrusion have a look at this one now okay so this one is slightly simpler but similar similar design I think similar design flaw which I need to correct um, so uh, 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 force transference again same thing as a pull from the two pairs of belts so there's a pull from there and a pull from there so the pull from here will result in it actually being pulled down onto the extrusion on that direction, on the, uh, this direction, uh, that way the rotation from that side, but um, the uh, uh, the pull from the from the the other belts here going that way will actually twist and try and lift this off here. So again, uh, 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 it's necessary to um, uh, uh, fill in that block and make it a plug. That the, the thing. Shush, shush, doing a video. Thing. Again, um, a quite a complex arrangement of uh, tower supports to transfer the force. Um, and, uh, uh, support, you know, support the towers. And make sure that any force that's uh, 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 thing doesn't twist those towers. We have two gnashes in here. It's also necessary to provide space to actually fit the bearings. You can't, <laughs> they have to fit it. You have to be able to fit the bearings into the holes. Um, and that's one of the other things that's, uh, that's slightly complicated about this. Um, what I'm also going to be doing is putting a, a washer above and below the, the things to support the belt, um, rather than use a, a, an idler that has um, rings on it. And the reason for that is that you can put the washer in it's a f f uh, f uh, 20 millimeter washer you can put it in at an angle like that and then sit it down um, which means that these these parts here and here can be um, uh, larger and they support the um, the whole structure uh, a little bit better than the, uh, thing and we can't make these bearings too small because it's going actually really really fast um, and if it's uh, uh, if it's too fast then what happens is that the inertia of the belt actually makes it fly off and round and bends the belt as it comes off just kind of purely under inertia you have to be quite careful with that anyway so 
Um, yeah, just some minor modifications to these. Um, yes, uh, uh, digital dentist, it, I, I thoroughly agree with it would have been uh, a lot easier to have started from solid blocks in these um, uh, in these uh, cases. But, you know, um, I, I'm not a huge fan of wasting um, too much um, uh, filament unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, I, I like I like I like a challenge. Um, thank you very much.